Is she the right woman for me? That's a good question. Now, statistically speaking, the answer is no. I'm sorry to say it out loud, but that's really the case. The fact of the matter is, is that the cause of separation is because we have wounded and unhealed people seeking connection without the capacity to commit. Let me repeat that. We have a significant percentage of wounded, unhealed people seeking connection with someone without the capacity to commit. Therefore, statistically speaking, the odds are against you. And what we're going to talk about is how to put the odds in your favor. Now, listen, guys, I know you're hearing a lot of rhetoric out there in the red pill community and in the manosphere of how women are only seeking that cream of the crop, the players, the ballers. You know, they're flying off to Dubai and they've got their uh, OnlyFans accounts. For that younger demographic, yeah, sure, that represents a small percentage of the women and men out there. The reality is that no matter what age demographic you're in, whether in your 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, and 60s, the reality is today that the average person isn't dealing with what's talked about in the manosphere, the red pill community and such. See, the reality is, is most humans, men and women alike, are seeking a connection. And yet they're unclear as to the type of relationship they're looking for. That's right, the type of their relationship they're looking for. You see, I'm a tail end baby boomer, pretty close to that beginning Gen X period of time. See, my generation was raised with uh, go to college, get a job, meet a girl or guy, get married, buy a house, start a family. Whether you were a man or a woman, that was the blueprint we had. So we had a clear vision of the type of relationship we were looking for. It was ma mainly in the capacity of making babies and raising a family. See, for a lot of 20 and 30-year-olds, or even those in their 40s, 50s, and even 60s, we're dealing with a completely different blueprint. See, the sad reality for a lot of 20 and 30-year-old men and women is that they are a byproduct of divorce. That's right, divorce. Those baby boomers, those early Gen Xers that got married rather young and found themselves divorced. And because of divorce, whether you're a man or woman, there's complexities, there's emotional complexities that have happened because of that experience. And it's made a lot of men and women fearful to actually lean into a healthy, happy relationship. In addition, if you're in the older demographic, you are a byproduct of, you're the byproduct of divorce. If you're, if you're one of those tail end baby boomers or Gen Xers, you're in that 40s, 50s, and even 60-year-old uh, category of divorced people. And divorced is an unraveling of the tapestry of your old life and trying to figure out what your life is going forward. So why is this so important to know? Because as I said before, since the odds are against you, learning what I'm about to share will make a big difference. Because if you're in the over 40 category, roughly 75% of singles are divorced. If you're in that 20 or 30 year old category, you're most likely the byproduct of parents who, whether it's you or the woman you seek are a byproduct of uh, divorced. And it's important to understand the emotional effects of these things going forward and to really understand what it takes to build a healthy, happy relationship with someone else. See, the, most humans don't understand this. What is compatibility? See, we've been all indoctrinated into believe that chemistry equals relationship success. If you have chemistry with someone, you're most likely going to have relationship success. Well, let me just tell you something. That's the furthest, furthest thing from the truth. Now, not to suggest that those that have chemistry won't have a successful relationship, but chemistry alone isn't the most important component for a successful relationship. Compatibility, particularly in the areas of a shared values and a shared vision. Lifestyles that are blendable with one another, and most importantly, emotional maturity and relationship skills. You see, the reality is, is most humans, whether they're in their 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, and above, 
Most humans have terrible relationship skills because as I said before, they're deeply wounded in their past. It's one of the reasons why I wrote my book, What the Heck is Self-Love Anyway? A Journey of Personal Development, Self-Help and Spiritual Work. There's a link below to get a copy of all the books I recommend. Why I recommend my book as well as another book uh, guys, if you're watching this, I highly recommend getting the Hoffman process, the Hoffman process. This is a deep dive into healing your childhood wounds and adult traumas to make you better prepared for a relationship. But Jonathan, all the women keep me picking those that cream of the crop men and they're not choosing me. I'm being I'm not being selected in the dating marketplace. Look, I get that. Guys, if you want to be selected in the dating marketplace, it is imperative that you put together a quality profile of yourself if you're meeting in the online sphere. And if you're meeting organically, always go outside in the world with the best representation of yourself. This puts the odds in your favor. In addition, to steal a quote from uh, Jordan Peterson, and whether you're a fan or not, that's not where I'm going here, but clean up your room. Having a home that is clean all the time is preparing you to attract the right woman in your life. So how are you going to determine if she's the right woman in your life? Well, this is why it's critically important to do your due diligence. You see this link right here? It says jonathanasley.com forward slash coaching. This is because my whole coaching practice is designed to teach you discernment how to vet for, do you share the same values with this woman? Do you have the same vision, shared vision of what you seek in relationship? Are your lifestyles blendable? And today, given that most people are dating outside a 20 mile radius, blendable lifestyles is critically important for the successful relationship. But Jonathan, I'm talking to a woman who lives thousands of miles away, folks, is she right for you if she can't be in your life day in, day out basis? Do you know the real juice of relationship is social activities, hobbies, mutual interests, spending time with family and friends, traveling together, teamwork building skills, both in your personal and your professional life, intimacy, both physical and emotional intimacy. That is the real roots to building the healthy, happy relationship. So, what are some of the most important lessons I want to share with you today? First and foremost, if you have deep child, by the way, really quickly, when I say childhood wounds, I'm not talking about physical or verbal abuse. Sure. Those are absolutely, or, or excuse me, when I talk about childhood traumas, I'm not just talking about physical and emotional abuse. Okay. Not that those aren't critically important. I'm talking about the garden variety trauma that might have happened when you were bullied in school or picked on or felt afraid in school, or you had siblings that picked on you, or you had a mother that had to go to work all day long and couldn't be there for you, or you had an absentee father, or you're a byproduct of divorce, no matter what it is. Or maybe in, for, those, for, those, for the older generation, you were beaten up by your dad because that was very common to get a smack upside the head. All of those instances had consequences in our lives as an adult and it has and affected how we choose relationships going forward. Guys, if you're not familiar with the work of these two books, Attached by Amir Levine and Rachel Heller and Getting the Love You Want by Harvell Hendricks and Helen Hunt. Guys, it's time for you to grow up emotionally. I highly recommend reading these books. Go, get, do uh, YouTube searches on these authors. Start watching the videos out there. Learn as much as you can to show up as an emotional grown up. Because when you show up as an emotional grown up, you have a greater chance for relationship success. And that's all I seek for you is that you have a chance to meet someone that's right for you. That woman who's actually going to want to dive into getting to know you as a person because you're done the inner work to be able to, to have the capacity to get to know her. But more importantly, guys, I'm here to say something. We need to go back to a slightly old fashioned way of commitment because through commitment, we actually feel a much greater sense of fulfillment 
instead of this hit it or quit it type of environment we're faced with today, whether it's hooking up friends with benefits, situationships or casual relationships. In the long run, this does more harm than good. So I'm inviting you all to do the work internally so you can attract a really great partner in your life. And if you need some more support, hey, check out the links below, whether it's to follow me on Instagram, check out my uh, group or uh, schedule a discovery call with me. And if you like this video, please hit that like button. Please share this video. Please subscribe to your channel. And I'd like to hear your thoughts. Post a comment below. All right, guys, I hope you found value in this video. If you did, I'm here to say I'm here to help you make a difference in your life. All right. Wishing you a fab day. Take care. Bye now. Bye-bye. Bye now.